So we've just got to the airport three yeah. hours early. It's not focusing on you because you're standing by a screen. And everywhere is shut. And I want bacon and pancakes. But nothing like being in the airport for three hours, is it? I want to go home. I want to go sleep. We could have been in bed. Could have left the house like now. We're here. We've got to locate some outfit. food. We just got to the first apartment we're staying at and it's actually mad. Like the inside isn't that great but outside is so good. I've kind of not slept for about, I don't know, I've not slept for like almost 30 hours but then I've had like little naps in between so be tired but let me show you the wall. How mad. This is just for the five of us and apparently it is deep and then up there is a little tree house that the man built. Like how's he built a tree house? It looks so professionally made as well. It's like little swinging baskets, hammock over there, it's a little garden area where you eat outside I think. And this is the tree house. And then there's a massive swing. And the man said that you can like swing up to there. And there's a belt on it because it swings so high. So that's like a weightlifting belt. I'm gonna be trying that. Let me go up here. another place over there. We're only staying here for a week and I think we're visiting Rome whilst we're at this place because I think this is technically Rome and then we're going to Rome and then doing all that and then after a week we're moving to a different Airbnb that's further south and my sister said that it's nicer than this one but I think this one is really nice especially the pool like the inside of the house I'll show you, but it's very small and quite plain, but who even goes in the house on holiday? I'm gonna be in that pool. <laughs> My brain is so bloody slow right now. I am absolutely shattered. I keep falling asleep at every opportunity and I still think I need a nap. I think I'm gonna get my bikini on and then go sleep by the pool for a few hours just so that I've caught up and then we'll do something later, I think. It is currently half one. So yeah, it's gonna be getting a bit cooler soon. So I wanna get my tan on. Let me get back down. It's fairly warm today, but apparently it's gonna be absolutely scorching this week. This is the inside of the house. Sorry. I just want to get my bikini on. Fabulous. The guys left us a Bluetooth speaker for the pool. What a legend. We've just got ready to go out for dinner and we're gonna have a family photo. <laughs> Emily's wearing my top. We're going to the lake. I don't know how far it is though. We're just walking to go to get a cocktail somewhere and then we're gonna go get some dinner. Just walking by the lake.
it's now our third day here. Um, on the first day, we literally, we got here about lunchtime, but we were so shattered because we hadn't really slept. We traveled through the night and we just had loads of naps here and there. So when we got here, we literally just went to sleep and I fell asleep on this sunbed and then got bitten to death by mosquitoes. It wasn't a good choice, but that was the first day. And then we went out for dinner and yesterday we spent most of the day by the pool just sunbathing and swimming and whatever and then we went to this lake it was called Lago di Brasiano I don't know if I've said that correctly and we stayed there for a bit looked at the lake it was very pretty we then we had a bit of a walk and then we went for a cocktail because loads of the restaurants don't open until eight o'clock so we did that. The cocktails before they they were so good, and the the gent the guy that was serving us he, he spoke really good English and made us this really nice vegetarian platter with chickpeas and hummus and bread and what else was that? Some dried tomatoes. Then we had the dinner, like I said, and then came back. And then today we've just been chilling by the pool. We just had a little swim. Did 30 lengths of the pool. Yeah, now I'm just sunbathing again. I'm scared that the sun is like making my camera too hot. But my sister's just gone inside. She's going to have a shower and then I'm going to go in after and get showered. And we're off to Rome. So I'm going to film that. That would be sick. I've never been to Rome, but I, we're going again on Thursday. We're going to, to do a Vatican City tour, which is five hours. So that will be mainly in the Vatican City. So we need, we're planning on going a couple of other times just to see everything else in Rome because there's so much to see. And the train from here to Rome is one euro. And how mad? I don't actually know how long it is. So England needs to learn from Europe and sort out their train prices. And it's like this app that I downloaded that's actually really handy for trains. Me and me and Stone used it when he lived in Italy. And I just re-downloaded it now. It's called Orario Treni. Oh the sun. It's just that little green one there. Also, this pool is so beautiful. It's absolutely huge. It's a good depth at that end. This end you can stand up quite nicely, but there's all these trees. Apparently, the person who owns this place, they bought this land and it was completely barren and they've planted all of these trees. Like it's at, there's so many big ones as well. Like I don't get how that's grown in his lifetime. I think he said maybe like 60 years they've had this. I mean, I, I, I don't know that much about trees, but I always thought that they took longer than that. It's that, it's so pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna tan for like five more minutes and then I'm gonna go get ready. I plaited my hair yesterday and I didn't take it out and now all the plaits have fallen back really far. See you in a bit. Look how good this focaccia is. There's an aubergine one, a arrabbiata one, and a margarita one. Apparently those two are vegan and this one's obviously got cheese on it. But I had some of this one earlier, but it's so good. I love the focaccia. There was almond milk in the shops, but it's so sweet. But I mean, I'm not complaining, it's very nice. So apparently these are the Spanish steps. It's absolutely rammed. We're on our way to the Trevi Fountain because the the metro stop that takes you to the Trevi was actually not open, so we're now having to do a 11 minute walk to the Trevi. Food at a restaurant called Tapori. 
I got mango and peach. So it's now Tuesday, we've been here since Saturday, so four days and today we're just having a bit of a chill day by the pool but I was I just put on my new Gymshark neon orange set and I think I'm going to go do a little hit workout. I've got my resistance band, got a hard one and a not so hard one and I need to find some shade. I did one the other day um, under the shade down there. I didn't put sun cream on and my back kind of got a weird tan line from my sports bra so I don't know if I'm going to do it there again I might find another little spot and then after I'll probably just somebody also I was in the shower and I was washing my face and I was like rubbing a bit too carelessly and my little finger just went up my nose and I had a little nosebleed but I hope it's not bleeding in this video so yeah I'm thinking a very glute based hit workout with the bands. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do it for. I did one the other day and it was about half an hour, which was quite good actually. That's quite good for a hit workout, but it's actually so hot today. I think I'm gonna do my workout here. I just wrote down what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna do some banded crab walks, squat jump, banded hip abductions, hop lunges, clams, and pull squats. So. I'll probably put that on the screen when I'm doing it but it is going to be hot and there was actually a spider, a massive spider right here last night and I'm a bit scared that it's going to come running out but I hope you enjoy the workout. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to film what I'm doing here and then go over to the shade and actually do it because I'm boiling. The way I do it is that I time on my phone so I put a stopwatch on and I do the move for 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest, do that four times for the same move, then have a minute rest, and then I do the next move and do it again the same way, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for all of it with a minute rest in between each different move and it will get you sweaty. I'm just setting my timer. Anyway, I'm off to the shade to do that in full. I have already had breakfast, but I was so hungry after that workout. So I've just got a bit of tomato focaccia. I think it's like arabiata and on focaccia with some tomatoes and some egg. 
So I'm gonna eat that and then go sunbathe. But I couldn't bring myself to go eat and sunbathe at the same time because it is boiling. I feel like my workout was very good though. Oh, it's very dark here. I plaited my hair and now it's just all over the place, but hopefully it'll stay in until the end of the day because I can't bother to do it again. With my hair, the issue is that if I put it in a bun, it always goes really wispy and comes out. So a plait is quite good, but it just means that sometimes it goes a bit strange. I'm quite good at doing this side, but not this side. We'll get better. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then I really want to try to edit a video to put up because I feel like I'm slacking. So I pretty much spent the rest of the day, um, this afternoon and evening, just sunbathing and swimming in the pool. I managed to do two lengths of the pool underwater without coming up to breathe, which I was pretty buzzing about. I was quite happy. Um, I don't know why, I always find it a challenge to do these things on holiday, just because I get a bit bored sometimes when I'm just sunbathing. But now we're, well I've just showered, hence the wet hair, and we're just going to have dinner here. They're doing some pasta, um, some tagliatelle and mussels, I think, for the fish eaters. So that's what they're cooking now. I'm probably just going to go help my parents cook dinner, but I hope you like this vlog with the cherry fountain and whatnot, and we'll be going back to Rome, so there'll be more of that. We, got, we need to see way more places because there's so many but it was a bit of a rush one yesterday and it was quite late and we ended up actually missing the last train back which is a bit of a mare um, because the last train back was about half nine and we got there at half ten and we just presumed because Italians like eat really late that their train, last train back would be a lot later than ours in England but clearly not and we were quite foolish to not check so yeah, a lesson learned for next time we go to Rome, but we'll be back. So we're going to the Vatican on Thursday and hopefully that won't be as much of a disaster, but we had to get a taxi back and we were looking on Uber and it was saying, for, cause there's five of us, we couldn't just have a normal standard car that had four seats, we needed a big car. So they were on Uber for 96 pounds and we were like, wow, this is gonna be pricey. So we were trying to find alternative ways of getting home. But in the end, we might, we just ended up going to one of the taxis and asking how much, and they were like 50 euros. So that's how we got home last night. Don't make that mistake. But yeah, I think that was a bit stressful for my parents. So yeah, they're having tonight off. A bit of a chill one in the house with some nice food. So I'm gonna go. I hope you like this vlog. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.